come, you want to do it, do it, do it right. And, and if you don't have the heart for it, just don't start it. Don't start it, because it's a big undertaking. We started to fundraise, and you're getting funds, and funds are limited because sometimes people don't realize how much it takes. Not just my time, because that's a given, but financially. When you're asking, and you're asking, and you're also down here, you're worn out. <laughs> So the idea was we had to sit on it and say, how can we become self-sufficient? So we had to create something to become self-sufficient long-term, which is how we ended up purchasing another 50 acres uh, worth of uh, farm so that we can start to grow products, so we can sell products in the state, so we can become. So as we're projecting right now, within 10 years, we should be fully functioning and fully self-sufficient. Self not to say that we don't need help in a lot of different domains because I claim what I know and I also will tell you what I don't know. So all the help is needed in all the different domains and faceted, facets, but what I've also learned, I've, I think Bati has also taught me so much. Not just hard and you know, uh, being able to be receptive to people and understanding and compassion and all of these good things that they tell you, but I've actually learned, like I helped in construction, I've been painting, so I've been physically learning a lot of things. Um, but long term is to be self-sufficient, is to look at all this land when you guys come every year and see another building up, another thing that the community needs.